This series we see a fiery, passionate Endeavour Morse dealing with a huge amount of change and is uh, discovering a lot about himself and those around him. We start testing Endeavour's morality, we start seeing where does he fall now within the CID setup. Who do you think you're talking to? How does his relationship with Thursday and the seniority, how is that being played out? One of the beautiful things about the way Sean plays the part as well is he's always looking for the truth of the character. I'm still waiting to hear about Venice. The streets are filled with water. Those characteristics oh, slowly nice. forming towards a Morse that maybe some of our fans might know from the books. Otherwise, I take my comforts where I can. Music has charms. The character of Endeavour does ultimately end up becoming an inspector and staying in Oxford, and the time is nigh to put down roots. Decorated it over the course of the series. It's also symbolic of where you are. He's achieved a lot, should perhaps have slightly more respect because I think he thinks he's the brightest person in the room often. It's difficult to still be an underdog. Molly Andrews. Well, that would be my guess. So it makes sense to me that you would have a degree of impatience. I picked some of the books up and began to read them again. And that is somewhere we have to head towards and the Inspector Morse TV series as well. All of the seeds were there at the beginning in the pilot. That's to do with booze, to do with a terrible relationship with women, ah. to do with the love of music or losing yourself in music, being something of an intellectual, I think, but being in an environment where you're not surrounded by like-minded people and dealing with things which are pretty harrowing on a daily basis. But I actually just think it's a natural evolution as well of this person who we've started with. The way he interacts with people goes and changes as well, you know.